Brian able to cut it inside is in the corner of the area. Three Chattanooga defenders converged on it, but gets the cross in and the header is in. Detroit City takes an early lead. It's Patricio Botello Fas, otherwise known as Pato, putting the visitors ahead 1 0 in the 43rd minute. James K. Sack tees it up. The Virginia Tech product. Head on it. It's in oh, the corner yes. and it's in the back of the net. And who else? Marcus Nagelstab picks up right where he left off. And it's all squared up at Finley Stadium in the 56th minute. I know it's a tough loss putting that aside. Is going to be back after the injury? Oh, absolutely. It was, I was buzzing. So I was just, you know, a little disappointed, you know, that we, you know, we couldn't keep that momentum that, you know, we created in the beginning of the, beginning of the second half of the goal and, and everything like that, you know. James K. Sack tees it up. Away! We, we work a lot on, on that front post uh, corner. Usually I'm the one often, you know, swinging it in. So I'm not usually in the box, but I knew kind of where it was going to, you know, come. And I was able to give my, my marker a little push and get free and, and get a good header. That is super sub, Marcus Nagelstadt making it one apiece. Now here is Richard Bryan. Man goes down in the box. Whistle. It's going to be a free kick free right kick? outside oh. the 18. You know it. Richard Dixon getting a talk in too from the referee. Connor and Rutz was the one to go down, and that's a red card a red, show to Chattanooga FC. A straight red card for Richard Dixon. That's amazing. Let's see that again. Was that really a red card? Right at the 18, an incredibly dangerous spot. For well, Chattanooga goalkeeper Alec Reddington. Almost the entire Chattanooga squad in the wall. There is only one player over. Vaughn to take it. Saved by Reddington. The follow-up is blocked off. Wow. What drama. Great save from Reddington there.
Down the line, Detroit goes. Steinwasher nearing the goal line. Russell in front of him gets it squared up, and it's a scissor oh. kick goal to take the lead. What a finish by Yazid Matthews. Basically, yeah, I kind of got lucky on it. Um, Avi cut it back for me, and I was running into the box, and I kind of must hit it. Got lucky that it bounced up, and I just swung through it. Pretty cool. We need, yeah, we need luck sometimes, and I got lucky. In the 88th minute, Matthews taking the lead, not what we were looking for at Chattanooga at all. Disappointing in the outcome, but uh, definitely good to make make appearance back into the team. Uh, I wish I could have contributed a little bit more. It's good for sure. I, t I took a much needed time rest off. Shout out to Robbie, our trainer, for getting me back right and uh, making sure I'm good. Really helped me with my recovery process and everything. So yeah, it's good to get back out there and uh, take a couple hits. <laughs> oh. You take those hits and give you confidence in it? Uh, for sure, yeah. It just makes it makes me realize like I'm I'm able to play 100 percent and like go go throw my body into guys and just battle for the ball. How at this point are you in the match? Tough match. Uh, very. Uh, we were you know this close, especially with uh, with 10 men for I don't know how long it was, but it was probably 35 minutes. Uh, you know, never easy against you know especially against the best team in the league. You know, we defended them really well and you know we. Let ourselves go for one little moment, and that's all they needed. I was gonna ask about that. How, how tough is that ten man for that long? It's hard. Uh, it's hard to get on the ball. It's hard to. You keep chasing with a man down. You're you're tired. Uh, it's it's tough.